Hello and welcome back to Geezer Gamers. Today we are playing Tower Tactics Liberation Early Access. It is available on Steam. This is a tower defense meets deck builder uh, with all kinds of crazy uh, crazy upgrades and stuff. Um, I have played a little bit, uh, so I do have some stuff unlocked. Uh, right now it's just magic penetration, attack speed multiplier, and that affects all turrets. So you can see we have max health, which is our health. Uh, health regeneration, um, which I assume is the amount of health you get back between rounds, but I'm not sure. Uh, starting mana, crystals, crystal multiplier, a bunch of other stuff. Um, there's the attack speed and there's the magic pen. Uh, we do have three different decks to choose from, and I did just beat the game with Wandering Colossus, uh, which apparently unlocks Ascension, um, which I have not tried yet. We have the basic... Uh, the basic starting deck, leading legacy, and then you unlock all these others as you level up. Uh, today I want to try out Holy Guild. Holy Guild, we start with the Holy Scepter, increase maximum overload by one. A uh, couple of Purifiers, Sacred Punishment, uh, a couple of Holy Executioners, and a Last Hope. Um, and I'll go over those as we, as we get into the game and as we go. Uh, so at the start of every run, you do get the ability to choose between one, uh, one of one of these abilities, holy cow, speaking is hard. Uh, gain one max health, not that exciting. Uh, we do have 13, it's not really necessary. Uh, add a card to your deck. Most minions, they do between, I've seen up to four damage, so one to four damage, just depending on what level they are. Uh, but in the early game, they only do like one, so it's not that big of a deal. Add a card to your deck. We get a card after every combat, so that's also not really that necessary. Gain three luck affects our crit chance and remove a card from your deck, uh, which is actually the one I'm going to go with. We only have six cards in our deck, uh, but we do have two copies of this three cost card. Three cost cards are really hard to cast, um, although leveling it up is good. It does get stronger when it levels up, so having a bunch of them is great, uh, but casting them is nearly impossible So, uh, in the early game. Um, so we're just gonna we're just going to cut the... Uh, Purifier there. Um, now we do have this this map. It's a little Slay the Spire esque, uh, but there's a lot more. The nodes kind of can you can jump around all over the place. Uh, the main thing is we do want to hit this elite, and we want to hit one of these rest sites, probably this one, so that we can hit this elite. Um, so we will go. We'll just take this this combat first, then jump to take this combat, this combat, this elite, this rest site, this elite, something along those lines. Uh, so let's jump on in. Now you can place your towers anywhere on these gray or yellow panels. Yellow panels get a slight stat boost and a slight range boost, um, so you generally want to kind of want to focus on putting uh, putting stuff on there. Um, and you know, other than that, it's just a pretty standard tower defense game. Uh, we do want to be able to hit as much of the map as possible early, so we'll just go ahead and start there. Uh, it's nothing too crazy. Uh, you do use mana to cast towers, and you do get more mana each, uh, and two mana at the end of each round. And then if you have four, every four mana you have, you get interest points called overload, up to a maximum on this character of two overload, because we have the Holy Scepter. Normally it's one. And if you get three of a kind on towers, they will combine all the way up to a three star. Um, so that's a thing too. There's only two waves on this first combat, so shouldn't uh, shouldn't really be too much of a a thing and we'll basically never get to cast our expensive cards because of that all right so we get some crystals add a card to our deck trick room inflicts random effects to the enemies nearby the strength of the effects scale with luck i don't know what those random effects are i'm assuming it's well i do know what those random effects are assuming it's the status effects that are available i don't want random things though that's not really where i'm at mortar strike uh two mana deal 210 plus 25 percent enemy current health physical damage so you want to hit high health targets most of the time. Um, it does do physical damage, so armor can reduce it. Archer, fire arrows at a high rate of fire. I can see picking up the archer. How much? Can I look in here? Do these do physical? These do magic. So right now I have magic damage, all magic damage. So picking up a physical damage uh, turret is not a bad idea. Yeah. I mean, it is still just single target, but yeah, we'll go with it. All right, so we could jump up here, hit the event, and still hit the elite. So I think I will do that. You can rush through um, 
and kind of skip over a lot of the uh, a lot of the nodes if you're doing like speed runs. But honestly, if you just want to get uh, get nice and strong, obviously the best way to do that is hitting as many nodes as you can. But if possible, you don't you really don't ever want to skip elites. Uh, so here we have three of a kind. They will automatically combine into the slightly bigger one. And now we execute below, I believe it's 15%. Um, yep. And there's just not enough waves to bother with interest this early on. So. And then the other special card that we have is this Last Hope card. It is orange, which means it's an enchantment. You can cast it once per combat. Once you cast it, it is... Uh, it's one use, so it's temporarily removed from your deck. Uh, it costs 13 mana, which is a lot, but it has this ability called Martyr, which isn't popping up right here for some reason, but Martyr um, makes it cost one less for every damage you take. So if I were to take four damage, it would cost nine, and then I could restore that four health. Uh, I don't know how good this card is. Uh, ignoring all enemy resistances seems strong, um, but you have to take a lot of damage for that, so I don't know if that's actually even any good. Uh, but we'll just, uh, we'll just keep pushing pushing through this. Colossus, all right. All right, good, Sacred Punishment. So there is a type of enemy that can show up that is uh, that is stealthed, uh, so we wanna make sure that we are paying attention to that. Uh, stealth enemies can't be shot at until they've taken damage, so you need a spell like Sacred Punishment to do that, or a turret that just AoEs the board. There is one of those. Um, so make sure we have enough mana to cast this. And we also have spell mana, which um, doesn't recharge between waves, but it recharges Alright, Berserker. That guy's annoying. He gets faster the more damage he takes, so we might need to... Okay, we do not need to kill him. Alright, great. Blinding Light. All towers can now target cloaked enemies. Enemies are 5% slower. Uh, that actually sounds really good. Uh, if you Well, you can't start with it round one. Well, you can because of the spell mana. Just kidding. Freezing Fog is strong. Slow enemies for three seconds. It's a small AoE. Cremators slowly burn enemies, uh, slowing them and inflicting grievous wounds in the process. And grieving, grievous wounds, I assume, is healing cut. That's what it is usually called in other games. Um, and there's a card with heal that has healing cut that says it stacks with grievous wounds. So I'm assuming those go together. I do like Cremator, although Blinding Light seems interesting. But I'll go ahead and pick this up. And now we want to try not to get too, too many cards. We're at seven. Uh, we can look in the shop real quick, but I don't think we'll be able to afford anything. Yeah, pretty much not. But we can, we, we can see some of the other stuff. Uh, damaging spheres that orbit in the shape of an atom symbol. Uh, impact sprayer shoots inaccurate bullets that deal more damage to healthier enemies are. And EMP grenadier launches grenades that stun enemies. You can also pick up... Um, you can pick up uh, artifacts if you have enough, but we don't. So we're just going to move on from there. Uh, let's see, we can hit the events, let's do that. You receive a message from a ship of the Interdimensional Prosperity Union. Do you need weapons? They're not of the best quality, but they might be useful to you. So we can add a card to our deck, receive three random basic cards, or decline. I mean, <laughs> I don't really want three random cards. That sounds terrible. Uh, yeah, let's just add a card. And we can skip it, good, that's good to know. Cryptic Command, three mana, stun all enemies for three seconds at the beginning of next round, draw two cards, and restore one health. That does seem pretty good. Um, I've used it before, and it, it's okay. It's a little expensive. Uh, the deck that I had it in had so much card draw that the card draw was basically irrelevant. Um, so it was a lot worse in that deck, but I could see it being pretty good since we have none currently. Sniper can target cloaked enemies attack from a long, attacks from a long range. And Giant's Bane, every third shot deals a percentage of the enemy's total health as true damage. Uh -huh. I'm just going to pick up the Cryptic Command, I think. And then I want to hit the Elite. Okay. Uh, enemies have 10% more tenacity. We'll start with an Archer. Should be good enough to beat the first guy, generally. Alright, Cryptic Command... I don't need to restore health yet. So we'll just get a couple of these guys down. And I do want to try and bank some mana. This one is 10 waves long, which is about how long you need for uh, for interest to matter at all. We do have a Sacred Punishment, so we'll just go ahead and jump to the next wave. 
in case we need to. Let's check and see if he's a healer. If he's a healer, I would have had to throw down the cremator because I probably wouldn't have enough to kill him. All right, now we're at four mana. Uh, so now that we're at four, we'll gain an extra one. So if we can get through this combat without playing anything, that'll be good. And we do have cryptic command if it comes down to it. Negators, I think, just have, yeah, they just have magic resist. All right, perfect. So now we'll go up to seven. We got that extra plus three, which is great. Uh, so now we just want to try not to spend uh, spend down below four if we can avoid it. Uh, try out the purifier. I've not used this one yet. Hopefully that's enough. It is not enough to finish him. I can just do this. It might be enough to finish him off. Probably not. Nah, just killed my economy. That's okay. It's worth a shot. Uh, we are up to five. We'll just we'll just pass here. Juggernaut and a medic. So that heal cut should help out. And I'll go ahead and play this to get that stun off. Draw some extra cards. It does heal me for the one as well. Since I took, uh, I took three damage. Seven out of ten. Just go ahead and get stronger here. Negator, medic, and negators. All right. All right. Um, we can adjust the game speed up a little bit here. What's also nice is if you're not, if the enemies aren't in range of any of the towers, you notice they move faster and then slow down. Uh, that is because there is an auto speed up function, automatic fast forward function, which is fairly awesome. These medics are AOE healing, uh, but the Grievous Wounds helps a lot with that, so. Um, we might actually be able to cast Last Hope and heal up to full. Anti-Mages and a Negator. All right, we should be fine. I think we can get through all this. Oh, no, it wasn't. It actually wasn't enough. Is that enough? Nope. All right. Well, we just take a bunch of damage. Oh, this one only sells back for two. Interesting. All right. Well, it's the last round, so uh, we'll just play everything out. Oh, I actually should have played this. Or saved to play this, but that's okay. I missed out on one health. All right, 30 crystals, mana totem. After getting the first th level three tower each combat, get three mana. That's pretty sweet. It's an artifact, so we can just take it. Fulminator, inflict more damage for each shot this tower type fired this combat, but it does cost four. Four is a big number, especially if we're trying to build up to expensive stuff like Cryptic Command. Definitely don't want two Cryptic Commands. Scrapper Cycler, I kind of like. Uh, it will chew through crystals. Every time you play it, you do lose one crystal. Um, but it replaces itself, it draws you a card, and then if you do manage to get this to level 3, which with enough scrap recyclers is really easy to do, um, you will draw extra cards each turn. Um, but it cycles itself, it doesn't take up a deck slot basically, so I'm always happy to pick that up. Here we can... I could come down here and do this, or I can come up and check out the shop, which I think I will check out the shop one more time. Uh, Fireball, Riftmaker, Teleport back enemies dealing magic damage based on enemy current health. I wonder how far that teleports in. That sounds awesome. Beam cannon gain one mana less each round and stuns enemies, but it does cost zero and it doesn't stack. So you gain one mana less, but you can put a ton of them out. Now stun does have diminishing returns and this is already a pretty small stun and enemies do eventually get tenacity. So like a 0.33 second stun is, is pretty bad. Uh, we could remove a card, trim this down a bit. I've yet to get to cast last hope. And maybe I never will, I don't know. All battles have one less wave, towers gain 8% range, prevent the first two times you would take damage, recharges each combat. Now I wonder, if you prevent it though, it probably doesn't work with the, I'm just gonna try Riftmaker. I can't remove a card, so we'll move on. All right, I need to hit the rest site. Now I could heal up here, it's only four health though, or I can upgrade a stat. I'm generally gonna pick upgrade a stat. 
Attack speed multiplier is awesome. We'll grab that. I could hit an extra combat here before hitting the elite, which I think I will do. So here we did start with the scrap recycler. So we get an extra card and play the holy executioner. And if we need it, we do a sacred punishment, but the first wave should be pretty free. There's the rift maker. It actually doesn't seem that insane on this map, but I wonder how far back it teleports them. I'm gonna put it here so we can test it, cause I need to know. It's a pretty big range. Okay, it looks like it teleports them. I wonder if it teleports them that far back. Now that, yeah, to my understanding, also has diminishing returns. Um, naturally, cause that'd be pretty busted otherwise. I don't know how far back we need to teleport them, but I will go ahead and throw a, uh, I'll throw some range guys back here so that the teleport isn't completely wasted, I suppose. Oh, and it deals magic damage. That's awesome. All right. Well, we get another scrap recycler. Take another Rift Maker. Uh, we only got one more wave left. Let's just uh, level these guys up. Get a Cremator in there. That radius is pretty far. Really low attack speed, so he'll kind of only teleport one thing. We'll just put him down here to catch. I wonder if it teleports them all the way to the beginning. That's that's the next thing I'd like to find out. If anything even gets that far. Oh, Berserker. This might actually be a decent test. Unless he dies. He did die. Alright. We will find out later, I'm sure. Alright, Sniper can attack cloaked enemies and attacks from a long range. Uh, very expensive, though, but I'm happy to pick up another Scrap Recycler. They're really good at multiples. And then we can grab this elite fight. I must have had some health regeneration on my last run because I was definitely healing in between combats. Um, and I'm not now, so. Just throw down the archer. Hey, I haven't used that spell mana, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. So this is a much more interesting actually don't want to put that down this early. I just want to get a couple of these guys. And actually be able to hit them as they come around is probably better. Of course, they're... <laughs> alright. Ouch! Two damage. There we go, a couple of scrap recyclers. I'm just gonna put all these guys in here. I don't know why I moved them over there. I have three, so we'll do that. And we'll throw a Rift Maker back here in case anything gets through. Okay, so it'll teleport them about back to here. So it's not the full length of the map, but that's fine. It makes them run through the gauntlet again, which is probably good enough. This is an elite fight, so there's a good chance we'll see some specialized enemies we don't normally see. Put a second one down. Yeah, Juggernaut and a Medic, alright. We do have some healing cut, which is good. And the Rift Maker saving the day, alright. Not too bad. Throw a couple more of these down because they're free. They, I mean, they do eat up crystals, but honestly, you get enough crystals, I would say it's probably worth it. I'm sure you could min-max the heck out of it, but I'm not going to overthink it. Here, we'll just save up the mana. if I get the chance, I would like to be able to cast uh, 
I don't think I'll get the chance. I was going to say I would like to be able to cast my heal or one of my heals. Alright, Cryptic Command is good enough, I guess. It will heal me for one. And it just stuns the whole board, heals me for one. Angelic Rifle, towers gain 10 range and a little bit of extra fire rate. Not a lot, but I'll take it. I mean, it's free, so... <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, 5%. Yeah, I guess... Point okay, so it said gains 0 0.05, but I guess it meant gains 5%. Uh, add a card to your deck. I have tried 4C before. Um, I've not found a situation where it's worth that cost. Um, inhibitor is pretty good. It reduces enemy tenacity. I don't... Uh, that does impact teleports, so maybe I'll take it. Yeah. Yeah, we'll grab it. And I can pick up another enemy before going to the boss, which I am inclined to do. Scrap Recycler, and I don't know what's better, so we'll just take the uh, I know, first wave. It doesn't really matter too much. Grab another Scrap Recycler. I don't want it hitting on that side. I only want it hitting over here. Actually, that's not true. Because it doesn't teleport him all the way back, so I don't want to put it all the way back down there. Guess I can put it there. Just kidding, it tripled. Um, I guess I'll save the crystal because I shouldn't need it. Runners are just fast. Esna, activate all deactivated towers in an area. I don't know how big that area is. So there's a disabler unit that can come through and disable random turrets. You can spend mana to activate them. Or I could just put this card in my deck and hope it's relevant sometimes, which I don't think is worth it. Downshaper reduces the level of enemies, if and if they are level 1, destroys them. Holy cow, and then if you max it out... Wait a minute. That's kind of gnarly. What's its fire rate? It's pretty low fire rate. Probably pass on this one just because of the cost. Um, Thunder, stun for 1.5 seconds and deal uh, magic uh, magic damage based off their max health. Uh, I will take that, a point click stun and a little bit of bonus damage. Um, it's also really useful for popping stealth effects early on. We can grab an archer. And we might need this, we'll see. We'll just use it. It doesn't cost us any mana, so. And it doesn't carry over. Uh, inhibitor's not useful yet, so I'll actually go ahead and pass on it. There we go, get some scrap. How big can we get on this purifier here? That'll hit that whole area, it's probably fine. 13 damage, sure. Oh, we got some of those stealth guys, and I don't have a spell, so I'm just screwed, I have to take the damage. Should be one each, I think. Yeah, that is unfortunate, but it is the way it goes. 
And in case it's more stealth, actually, Cryptic Command doesn't do damage. So that probably won't even work. I'll just have to hope there's no more stealth units coming through this round. Thunder can let me break through stealth, so I'm good there now. Colossus Infantry. I'll just stun him in here and make sure he gets hit. Some scrap. I might actually get to cast Last Hope this, this game. Which, the enchant effect won't matter, but the extra 4 health would be pretty nice. Probably won't though, because I'm just going to kind of keep spamming towers. I don't think this is a good card. I, I could be horribly mistaken, maybe I'm just not using it right, but... I am not convinced, and that guy's going to get through, and I think I die here? Yeah, that's 3. Well, that is unfortunate. I'm not in love with this deck. I will I will continue to try it out and see if I'm missing something, but so far not loving it. But that will that will conclude this video. This is an introduction to tower tactics. If you want to see more of this, make sure you leave a comment down below and hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out, and we'll catch you in the next one.